Heaven's California Hey yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another FIFA 18 trading tips video. Now I've actually loaded up the wrong ultimate team now. I was going to the World Cup Ultimate Team. We're not here for World Cup Ultimate Team. However, if you are interested in the World Cup, then I am running a FIFA 18 Road to Russia World Cup Road to Glory over on the channel. We're uploading that pretty much daily so far, just because it gives us something fresh to do on FIFA and stuff like that. But today we're back with the trading tips, um, or basically, I think I'm probably going to title the video. Ultimate Team of the Season SBC colon Market Watch. Uh, we've actually earned an untradeable special kit for watching the PS4 playoffs live on Twitch. I've been watching the playoffs actually, they've been pretty good. I haven't, definitely haven't minded watching them. Uh, but we have some new items here then. We probably have two kits, right? Yeah, we have the home and the away kit. Two very nice looking kits. We'll send them off to the club. So, we're on 170,000 coins. The 8,000 coins is for um, the SB or the, the World Cup mode. I haven't really been sharing the coins because I've kind of been doing more of a Road to Glory type thing on the World Cup mode. Um, even though the accounts are joint and stuff. Um, but there's a couple of things I want to talk about. You know, I, I operate two teams. Um, but the problem with operating two teams is I obviously operate the two teams on the ultimate team because of fitness and stuff. But the reason why you possibly might not want to run two teams on ultimate team is because obviously you're going to have to split your coins between two teams rather than combining all your coins for one big team. But right now that isn't the issue. Um, you know, if I was to go and put together the team, I would go and put them together because... The, what are we, squad fitness cards, gold, are basically on the floor right now. You know, you can get them at 200 coins. They're on the floor, you can buy them for 200 coins. You could even bid on them for 150 if you really wanted to, um, and you could go and get yourself them. So after every game, basically, you'd easily be able to get yourself a squad fitness, which is great for the World Cup as well, because obviously in the World Cup, you can't have numerous squads, you can only have the one squad. And, you know, it's great to have super subs and stuff. That's why people use fitness cards, because it's good to have stuff on the bench. I um, mean, you know, look, stuff like this. You could bid on a load of these at 150, get them for 200 coins, and it's easy as that. Um, 200 coins is very, very cheap for me. Now, I don't think any of these packs are ones... No, these are for the Road to Glory. You know, that's going to be tomorrow. If you did miss today's Road to Glory, though... We opened a load of upgrade packs, especially European upgrade packs. We had six walkouts in one pack opening, which is a lot of pack, a lot of pack openings and a lot of stuff like that. We had a lot of packs, we had a lot of stuff to do. But, um, it's the ultimate team of the season, SBC. I haven't really covered any SBCs on this channel for a while. We've done the marquee matchups as well, we got them to do there. That'll get us a rare players pack, so that's a 50k pack. Then we have the ultimate team of season. So let's have a look what requirements this takes us. We need two team of season players, as we predicted. Only an 83 squad overall and 75 squad chemistry. Now, last week we did say, you know what? 83s are probably a good move because they're rock bottom on the market. And I'm guessing the 83s probably have gone up. I'm not too sure what the price of the team of seasons are. The easiest way to check the price of the team the seasons is on the fuck bin app because the app is very very useful and it will very much help us with this so we'll go to fuck bin then i'm pretty sure actually both our team of seasons might be the same player uh i i'm hoping they're not but it honestly doesn't bother me if they are i'll just go and buy another me visca there and visca Oh, we have to buy another team of season. But I don't know if the team of season prices have actually gone up that much. Let's have a look. Let's go to team of the week. Rest of the world. Honestly, they haven't risen that much. Um, they're still pretty cheap. 
Most of them, you know, you can get for a decent amount of money. Um, it looks like the cheapest could be like a Vorma or something. Uh, or a Fernandez, he's only 32k. Visca is 31k. De Jong, 33k. You know, if you pick them up when they're down at the 70s, you, or the 20, low 20, mid low 27s, you'd be making yourself a decent amount of money from them right now. Especially if you picked up the Lee Gurn ones, you know, they were... Actually, the Lee Gurn one's still sitting at about that rating as well, so... You know what, I'll probably go and pick up one with a decent-ish... Let's go and get Mycon. I think that's the one I'll get. Um, I'll remember that I have 8,000 coins aside for this World Cup. I can transfer a few coins over, I guess. I mean, we bought these Visca for, what, a lot of coins, and... He's, 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 he's very, very much down. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to pop over to the transfer market then. And we're just going to have a look at a couple of players. Prices, I guess. Um, we'll go and get this special Mycon first. Probably best to get him now. It's best through these SBCs when they're fresh off the blocks. Because people be, especially if you don't have the cards available, people be panic selling the crazy hell out of their team of season cards, you know, 32.5k is honestly not a bad, okay, that one's gone, 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 okay, don't know why it does this, you know, give me the updated transfer list, please, 33k for the Micon, you know what, he's a good nationality, I'll take him, I will take him, because that's alright, so, we got the mic on then. We can get mic on. Did I put Visca into our transfer list? Or off our transfer list? I don't think I did, did I? No, we didn't. So, we will take Visca and we will put him into the club. And then we can go and get this SBC. Ready and going then. So, we picked up a lot of 83s um, when we did, obviously, investing for the ultimate team of the season. When they were at rock bottom, which was clearly a very, very good move. Because they, the 83s probably have risen quite a lot. Um, obviously, I'm keeping enough 83s in the club and stuff to do both the SBCs. Um, but this is what we're going to use then. Let's have a look. Goalkeeper wise, we have a 90 and a 90 there. So we might be able to get away with not just using all 83s. You know, we picked up 85s there. We got 84s, 83s. Let's use someone like Rainer. Uh, let's have a look. It'd be great if we had... Let's have a look if we got any Brazilian... Not from the Czech League. We've actually got Naldo. I would use Naldo just to get the chemistry. And I'll go with... A Bundesliga goalkeeper. Probably Fairman. To use there. And then we'll be able to throw in some... Slightly less overall players. We could probably get away with that Gerdhart there, to be honest. Um, again, the right back doesn't concern me too much. We got Alves. Do I really want to use Alves? Not really, let's be honest. Um, it'd be great if we had someone from the Turk League. I don't think... Okay, look, Gonal. He's going to get the link there to Visca and him there. That's very, very good. CDM. Who can we throw in? Fabinho, a little bit too high rated for me. Goretzka at CDM. Yeah, we'll take Goretzka at CDM. Left mid. Hazard. Possibly even Bruma. Possibly even Johnson. I think Johnson could probably get that job done very well. CAM, Forsberg, I'm guessing would be the move here because he's Bundesliga. I love the fact I wanted it to be Serie A, but it's actually gone Bundesliga route. Uh, ST, we're looking for Bundesliga ones preferably to get the chemistry. Uh, we got, let's see, we got this guy here. That would take us up to an 81, 82 chemistry. And Muto, would he get us? 83 rating, yeah. So look, we only had to use like 290, 290 rated uh, team of season. That's going to cost you about 60k, 60 to 70,000 coins. I've only got one 
83 and 82 and 84 and the rest are just random cards that a lot of people probably already have in their club but we've got the team of the season pack then let's see I want it to move the camera down it didn't there we go that's better <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> ultimate team of the season player then what are we gonna get in this be nice to get something that we could put in our team. And Ronaldo would be good, wouldn't it? Let's just see, what are we getting? Okay. Italian, ST, Immobile. Decent, it's decent. Um... Uh, whoopie do we get in Mobile? Um, yeah, I, I shouldn't complain. It's a 96 rated ST. Probably would lead. Uh, it, it, it definitely goes into the Serie A team, but I kind of wanted a Premier League player if I'm being brutally honest. But um, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Look, uh, let's go to some. Let's have a look at some 83s then. Um, we'll go gold. Let's just have a look at some of the ones that I can think of that are always pretty cheap. Someone like Shinji Kagawa. If he's still under a thousand coins, which he is, now they haven't risen a lot. Okay, they really haven't risen a lot, but they've risen a little bit. Um, is it time to... I would say hold until... I mean, you're going to be seeing this on Monday. I'd see what they're like on Tuesday. I would definitely see what they're like on Tuesday because a lot of these guys have barely risen at all. I mean, I'll probably liquidate them just because after this SBC, they're probably going to go down in price again. Even if you're only making that 100 coins a card, this buy ye for one one. I I ho I'm holding for now. I'm holding for now because I don't personally think. You know, the first 24 hours is normally a lot of panic sellers. Once the market stabilizes out, we're going to get the same SBC Tuesday. We'll see what happens there. There is no rush, okay? We're not going to be losing any money, especially on our 83s, okay? Our 83s can't get any lower than what we bought them for. I bought the at least 60% of my 83s for all 1,000 coins. They're not going to drop any lower than around 1,000 coins now. You know, they might be 750. The ones I got for 750... I'll be keeping it 750. You know, we'll make a little bit of profit on each card. If we could make the money back from what we're going to buy two team of season cards for, I would definitely like that. But again, coins are not my team. Just don't really bother me too much. Um, if I'm being brutally honest, they just don't. You know, this is the Serie A team. We have no centre back. The Koulibaly has disappeared. Where has Koulibaly gone? Where is it? Did we use him in a, like an SBC or something? Where's the right back? Who did we have him right back? Florenzi, right? We must have ditched him for the SBC. <laughs> Don't know why I've done that. I re oh wait, this is Bundesliga. What am I doing? Kalshoa. There's my killer valley. I was, I was, I was going to say, look, he's putting a big shift for our club. 61 games. He's don't know why he wasn't in the squad. The florenzi has gone, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, let's just actually have a look. I mean, the Calcio had seen the season players that I got. We've got... Let's see. Uh, low to high, I'm guessing. Yeah, so look. We've got Terrera, we got Kolarov, and we got Immobile. Kolarov, for me, is great. You know, he looks like a really good card. Terrera looks like a decent box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, anyway, if I was going to come back onto the team, I wouldn't be using these wide players. I'd definitely be going to a narrow formation. And if we went to a narrow formation, Terrera would work, Kolarov would work, and obviously Immobile would work as well. Um, but, yeah, right now, I'd say the best thing to do with a lot of these cards is to hold them. With your higher-rated ones, let's actually have a look then. Um... One that I've been keeping an eye on, I'm, I didn't buy him, but I was just interested to see what was happening, was Pogba. Now the weekend league has been in, is in full swing. 
I'm interested to see what his price is at because when it came on Tuesday, his price is at twenty two thousand. I'm guessing now he's going to be more around thirty k mark. Yeah. Um, who can I think of players that we bought? We bought Ruffy. Eh, let's just have a look in the club, I guess. Um, I might have had some in the transfer list as well. Let's have a look here. So look, we've still got all these players to shift on. We have a duplicate Perisic here, an 86 rated. We picked him up for 4.4k. Looks like he's up at 5,000 coins. So you know what? That's not too bad. The stream here, 1.9k on him. Looks like he's up at a decent price, um, which is... don't know why that's happened. 84 seemed to have risen a little bit more than some others. Um, if that happens with Ultimate Team, you know, some... Some cards tend to rise more than others. You know, maybe someone like Mares might have risen a bit more. About well, probably one and a half thousand coins. Edison there picked him up at 2k. Probably a little bit cheaper there actually now, Edison. I'm um, looking for some more big boys. Jabraxler here, 1.4k. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, Mertens, 6.9k. Up at a good 7k there, that's decent. Uh, Parejo, 1.4k. He's now couple of thousand coins up if we're lucky but again as again I said look you gotta wait for the for the for the guys who are um, panic panic selling uh, they're gonna be selling their cards before us quite clearly um, you know we wait and we hold I don't know what he's trying to keep relisting it oh it's trying to relist this Sané actually he was at 55k we picked him up at we can sell him 55 there. Probably making a little bit of a loss on that Sané. I'll relist him. Um, just because. Why not? Why not relist him? But now, we're on about 135-ish thousand coins. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's alright, isn't it? We're looking alright on the Ultimate Team. I'm going to probably do things a little bit differently on Ultimate Team next year. Because I just feel... Like, I've never really had a proper series going, and I'm one of these channels where, you know, I like consistent uploads and stuff. I kind of want to do what, like, Nepenthes and Nick2018 do, and do, like, their their road to glory, where they literally spend no money and see what they they can get. You know, not to say that I'm not going to have a money where I do, or an account where I will spend money. I will spend money on, you know, the game. It's just that... It's it's kind of like, I kind of want to have that challenge of, yeah, this is kind of my account. We have one, which is the Try Hard account, which we play on, and then we have the other account with, ah, oh, I've got a spare couple of pounds, I've got some money, let's just open some packs. And, you know, we won't have to cry about, we won't have to worry about World Cup mode, which is, uh, which is interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do with FIFA 19, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think, maybe, I think. You know, I give my credit to EA. They've done a good job with the World Cup. It's only just been a week, and you know, I'm enjoying that. I've enjoyed you doing the SBCs on Ultimate Team, and you know, if I had a decent team on Ultimate Team, I'd probably enjoy playing that too. But just never really happened, did it? We just took a big break from Ultimate Team and kind of missed a lot of the hype. But nevertheless, that's life, and um, yeah, we'll we'll kind of get to learn more about trading and stuff and get ourselves back on track next year with FIFA but we still got a couple of months of this FIFA you know I'm happy doing the road to Russia and stuff so yeah I think that's about it for this one then so if you did enjoy drop a like leave a comment down below how are your investments doing um, you know there might have been a particular player that you looked at and you went yeah you know what I'm gonna buy a hundred of him I'm gonna buy 200 300 400 500 at like a thousand a piece and now he's at 2k so you made like double your money and imagine if you spent 500k on that and then you went and got a million coins that's pretty good profit my friend you could throw that all on the world cup mode and i could guarantee you with 500,000 coins you would have yourself a tidy team on the world cup mode you'd get a lot of people you get a lot of coins from the world or you get a lot of players from the packs you'd open throw them all into upgrade packs european and south america and you get a banging team um, but yeah, there will also be a previous two uploads from yesterday. Make sure you do go and check them out. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications for daily FIFA 18 content and some other content as well when and if I can be bothered to upload it. <laughs> um, we've got a Q&A running as well, so please do remember to leave some questions if you want to get involved with all that. But I've been David, this has been FIFA 18. 
stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.